Hey everybody, welcome to the event. I'm your host, Alex Sigrist, and today we've got a ridiculously talented friend of mine, Antoine Lee. How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good? Well, you're an entertainer in Korea, or you've done entertaining roles, but you're also a professionally trained dancer, right? That's right. Which did you come to Korea for? I came here to do modern dance, okay. um, more or less. I was dancing in America and I needed a break, so I got a job teaching English. And you came here, you did modern dance, and you've been in some K-pop videos. Tons. Tons. I gotta stop right here and, and show a video clip to you, and I want to know what you were talking about in this clip. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of people move to Hollywood and feel entitled to start them, which you should. It's the best way to walk into an audition, is to walk in and feel like you deserve the role exactly. and that you're right for the role. But to walk into Korea and feel like you deserve a place in K-pop, or you think you're talented enough to like work in the movie industry here, maybe. All right. Give us some context, and I got some questions for you. Oh, sure. So the context is, is a lot of people come to Korea, performers and non-performers alike, and decide to reinvent themselves because they can, you know? Um, How? How do you reinvent? Like, well, you show up, you get a job in, as an extra in a drama, and all of a sudden you're an actor. Or you get you know, a job holding toothpaste in a commercial, and now you're a model, and people decide that that's what they do and that's who they are. You put on a sport coat, and all of a sudden you're an interviewer. It's crazy, right? I don't know why they let these fools do this. <laughs> <laughs> so you've gotten a lot of experience working with Koreans and foreigners alike. Let's focus on that. Who do you enjoy working with more? Just a simple question. The, are the Koreans nicer to you? Are foreigners nicer to you in general? Everyone's nice to me because I'm awesome. But that's, I that's enjoy different. working with professionals who are, you know, who are doing what they're doing. Oh, wait, let me rephrase that. I enjoy working with professional entertainers. Mm -hmm. And because I'm a foreigner, lots of times I get jobs in music videos and my peers, my co-foreigners, yeah. have never acted before, have no experience dancing before, but like to do things like correct me or you know, give me hints or tips because they're professional actors. And I'm like, that's funny. I don't think being a professional extra makes you an actor, and I really don't care what you have to say. So there's some foreigners here that maybe don't deserve the role they're in, but, or maybe they do just because they're that role, but they're not as good as they think they are. Both. Both. Um, you know, there's a really large pool of talent when it comes to foreigners in Korea, mm -hmm. and I would say maybe 5% of those people could actually successfully work outside of Korea. Um, lots of people, most people, including myself, we get jobs just because we're not Korean, because we're not have you ever um, been typecasted? I, that's how I pay my rent, is <laughs> by getting typecasted. <laughs> well, okay, so for those who may not know, what roles do you play if you're typecasted? Uh, sports people, athletes, I guess what they call them. I guess basketball. Um, basketball, uh, yeah, I didn't get the soccer thing because they wanted someone who looked more Latin. Um, you gotta be Latin or Hispanic. European? No, no, no they, they wanted someone who Hispanic. looked like they spoke Spanish because that's how specific the stereotypes are. Um, also, a bouncer. I've been a trombone player. I've Jazz. been a trumpet player twice, yeah. Um, you Do you know. play trumpet? No. Do you play basketball? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think for the basketball job, all I had to do was hold the basketball. Did you hold it cool? Of course, you all know. Right. I can hold anything extremely well because I'm a professional. But like, like I was saying is that, yeah, it's, just, it's kind of frustrating to me when people either look down on you because they've been in Korea for longer or they're Koreans better. And I'm like, but I could dance circles around you and your family. So there's some, you're talking about people who are in the same music video but claim to have like this superior knowledge, even though you've been, you're the dancer. And they're yeah, just I like, mean, that doesn't happen so much with dancing, but mostly acting. And like, acting. you know, I, I study musical theater and I would, I've done, there's a show, I don't know if I should name it. I won't name it, okay. but they employ lots of foreigners. Yeah. The entire cast is a foreigner cast. I did it once, I promise I would never do it again. Because I met one guy, and the whole time he was trying to like 
give me tips. And who, well, who was it? like? What was his uh, background? He's a professional extra in Korea. Professional extra in Korea. Yeah, you know, he he gets speaking roles on dramas, and I've seen, I've seen him in a drama. And could I do as well as he did in that yeah. role? Yeah. Oh, really? Most people could. Aww. You know, I don't want to say he's a terrible actor. Everyone's got to start somewhere. But, but he's, we started in Korea. he's just been doing this a long time, and, and I don't know. I just, I just, I, it just bothers me when when people within the Korean entertainment industry feel like they're incredibly talented when, in actuality, they're getting jobs just because they're not Korean. You know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting jobs because you're not Korean in Korea. You know, there's nothing wrong with. I got a job. I got plenty of jobs because of that. Yeah, I accept that, and I'm fortunate for that. You know, I'm not a actor per se, so I feel fortunate that I get the opportunity to do it. But I would never like correct someone else for not extraing well. <laughs> You've got to be a talented extra. Like, what is that? Like, did you go to like school for that or something? Like, when the camera passes, you just. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Did you see I don't it? know. So that that's kind of annoying. Um, I can't really argue with, with you on that one. I've I've seen it too, and part of me gets jealous when I see that, because I think to myself, I could do that as poorly as some of those people. Oh, that I mean, that's that's the, another problem is that <laughs> they give. Oftentimes, they'll give opportunities to someone just because they're good at Korean, but they're not actually good actors. So they're speaking Korean, but they still look really stupid just because it's like they're doing too much or not enough. So you're telling me because I speak Korean and I'm not getting those roles, I'm messing up. I'm really bad actor. I don't, it's, <laughs> it's probably just because of who you know, because that's oh. honestly 50% of getting jobs. In the entertainment industry, anywhere, is, is who you know. Um, and the fact that they're getting them jobs, that's probably because they've got friends. Maybe you need more friends, Alex. That's not a vent, that's the cry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll try that another time. Yeah. Okay, you've given good advice before. You've, I've heard your advice. Yeah. So, so someone coming to Korea and they want to be something in the entertainment industry. Maybe an extra, maybe more than an extra. What, what advice can you give them? Well, one, uh, why do you want to be in the entertainment industry? Is it because you think you're truly talented? Then being in Korea would be fun, but you're not going to reach, reach your potential. Are you, you're in Korea. Are you going to stay here? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no. So I mean, I had no intention. I had no intention to stay here. Um, I came here to do modern dance. I ended up getting jobs doing backup mm -hmm. dancing. I like it, so I'm going to keep doing it somewhere where it counts for something more. Guessing the U.S.? Yeah, I'm going to move to L.A. Okay. So, so yeah, one, if you want to be an entertainer in Korea, why do you want to be an entertainer at all? Mm -hmm. If it's because you like doing it, then sure, come to Korea. Most people can do it. Second, do you want to reach some type of fame or fortune from doing this. I guarantee you, you're not going to make a lot of money doing it in Korea. You're going to get lots of opportunities. You might be able to survive and like make money, but... Are you talking about the one who doesn't look Korean? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This is yeah. different between someone who is Korean ancestry or East Asian ancestry and like you and me. Slightly, slightly. I would say it is different between someone who has, who is Korean, mm -hmm. but even then, the height of being an entertainer in Korea oh. doesn't even come close to what you could amount to, you know, being Beyonce. Sure. And, and that's just in terms of markets. They have bigger markets. Um, in terms of music and entertainment, Japan's market is actually bigger than Korea. So, you know, if you just want to do entertainment, then there's a lot of Asian countries you can go to and be appreciated for your non-Asian features and get put in commercials and all kinds of fun things. Um, but in specifically Korea, um, yeah, it's fun. Come on, you should try it. But don't get a big head once you've got one role as an expert. Hey, hey, I'm not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> but like, if you're going to be one of those jerks, just don't talk to me. All just right, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much of a jerk is that person? How much do you, are you annoyed when someone comes up to you and says, tells you how to dance better? 
who is not trained. Like, what, 10 being the jerkiest? 10 is like, I can't stand this. this like thing. an 11, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't like when anyone does that to me. Like, even if Beyonce came up to me and was like, I think, I think you need to do better, I would be a little upset, but I would listen to her, you know? I'm not going to listen to him. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, I'm having a great time in Korea. Um, I'm actually sad to leave. It's been a really great ride. If you want to get your feet wet in the entertainment industry, Korea is a great place to do it. Um, so, good luck. Your words have been amazing. Thank you so much. And as always, we do want to hear from the people watching us. So, you guys have the final word. Catch you next time.